In 2006, UFI version 2.0 brought us uh, cryptography and security. Uh, we have we also get new new specification called platform initialization specification in version 1.0. I will explain what's the difference between two and like what's what's included in those. Uh, then in 2007 we have 2.1 uh, where we're getting network authentications so HTTPS and and other secure uh, protocols um, for UFI firmware for unified extensible firmware interface. There is also architecture of user interface. So all this uh, gray blue uh, screens had to be somehow uh, provided to the UFI environment and maybe something even more sophisticated. Then in 2010, uh, UFI expands even more, but um, it was the, the, the UFI started to be deployed on multiple modern hardware at that time and uh, BIOS started to decline. Um, and um, many UFI implementation um, had to provide backward compatibility in, for, in form of uh, legacy compatibility modules, legacy mode, and so on. So some of you probably, most of you probably remember that we can go to uh, BIOS menu and switch from UFI mode to legacy mode. And in that way, we can boot some uh, more legacy uh, software. In 2018, there was interesting event, hap event happened because Microsoft uh, published their project new and Project Mu was uh, a fork, is a, is a fork of EDK2, um, which, is, which contains support for surf, Surface uh, Pro um, notebooks uh, and Hyper-V. Also, ARM announces server-ready certification program, uh, which requires all UFI, ACPI, and SMBIOS specification, which means that ARM recognized uh, UFI environment as a default for server environment. Yeah, so BIOS, so we know like from, from that, we can say that BIOS served its purpose very very well for a long time. Um, in the beginning, even user application, there were even user application, many user applications using uh, its runtime services, um, but uh, technology change forced it to remove BIOS from the uh, landscape and uh, Eventually, uh, we're landing in 2020 and right now 2022, um, but it's the things continues. And in 2020, Intel decides that they remove support for legacy BIOS for new platforms. And there will be only, um, only UFI, which is validated and delivered by, uh, by Intel and, and uh, supported by Intel. Some vendors definitely still will provide for some time compatibility support module, which is because it is very necessary for, for some application. But uh, over time, uh, we will probably switch to UFI interface and there is not much that can compete with that. Um, there's ongoing effort in open source firmware community to mitigate problems related to UFI. And I will talk about that in uh, UFI criticism section. And, uh, UFI specification uh, version 2.9 was published in March 2021, and we will base this lecture on that version.